What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to talk about placing grids in our project. So after learning how to create or place levels in your project, so this time let's learn how to place grids in our project. Okay, so let's get started. So the grid tool can be found on the architecture datum panel. So you can see the grid there. So basically, you use the grid tool to place column grid lines in the building design. So you can then add uh, columns along the column grid lines. So just like your levels, grid lines are finite planes. So you can drag their extents in elevation views so that they do not intersect level lines. So this allows you to determine whether grid lines appear in each new plan view that you create for a project. So grid lines, just like what you are seeing on our image there, so it can be straight line and it can also be an arc or multi-segmented grids. And then after that, you can also hide the grid lines after you place it, okay, or after you add the grid. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to start placing the grids, I'm going to change my view to 0, 1 level. Just double click that and then there's an issue here obviously we can't see the floor plan of our uh, 0 1 entry level so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the properties the view properties and then look for the view range so you click that edit from the properties and then you will be able to open now the view range so as you can see here the view range is a set of horizontal planes that control the visibility and display of objects in the plan view. So here at the lower left corner, so it will give you an idea if you're going to click the show here. Okay, so this is the sample view range. So we have the key numbers here, 1 to 7. Primary range top, so this is that one. So that's the one, number 1. So that's the top range. So the settings in my view right now, so the top is associated with the level one. And then from the level one, it will go up seven feet, six inches. That will gonna be my primary range. So meaning from uh, the top here, it will go up seven feet, six inches. That will gonna be my uh, primary range. That will gonna be the range of my top uh, portion. And now you also have here the primary range cut plane that is set to four feet, which is this one, the number two. So any elements that will gonna be cut by my view range, it will show on my uh, floor plan. Okay, so that is what will gonna happen. So the next one here is we have the primary range bottom. So that's the number three. So as you can see here, associated with the level one and offset is zero so meaning to say it's only up to the number three for my primary range from top to here okay so it's only zero foot here okay so the top range is seven feet six inches up to here on the bottom of uh, on the associated level zero one and then you also have here the uh, view depth which is what I'm gonna control so what I want to do is I want to see the depth of my floor plan so I'm gonna adjust my view depth so instead of making it uh, zero so I'm gonna change this view depth I'm gonna make that unlimited so I'm gonna select that one so if I select here apply the view depth here which is the six will now gonna show like this okay so a while ago when it is set to level uh, level one and then the offset is zero of course we will not be able to say anything so if you're going to adjust the view depth the six here three to four so you will be able to see that if you're going to change that to unlimited or you can also select a level below and then you can key in here a negative value okay so like for example here I'm gonna type uh, minus four feet and then I select your apply so I'll be able to see it as well 
Okay? Or, of course, you can just make it unlimited if you're not sure the value of the offset distance that you are going to key in. So, I'll just select unlimited. So, meaning from the bottom, from the level 0, 1, from the bottom, from number 3, it will go down unlimited. So, I'll just select apply and then OK. So, now that I can see the outline of my building so I'm now going to start creating the grid so I'm gonna select here the grid the shortcut is GR so let me click this one and then just like what I've said earlier grids can be straight grids arc grids and it can also be a uh, multi-segment grid okay but for this one I'm just gonna use here the line tool and then this is the type of the grid that you will be creating okay of course, you can create your new type of grid, but we are not going to do that in this exercise. So, to start with, so I'm going to use the line tool, zero offset, and then I'm going to pick here. And then I'm going to pick here. There you go. And then I'm going to select here, modify. Now, my level head here is too small, so I'm going to adjust the scale here. So, instead of one eighth of an inch to one foot i'm gonna change that to let's say uh one over 16 inch to one foot so i select that one there you go so it's now adjusted okay the scale is now adjusted so i'll select this grid and then you see that uh, adjust there the dragging circle so you can drag that just like your level if you remember and then you can also click that one and then you can place here the bubble so you can click that small square and then it will place the bubble there okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this one so let's say I want to copy that uh, six times so I select this one or let's say ten times so I select copy and then constrain multiple okay so let me just pick the base point so let us copy so the placement is not uh uh doesn't need to be exact for this exercise but of course you can specify the distance right like for example from seven to eight you want that to be 30 30 feet so you can type 30 enter but for this exercise no need so we are going to adjust that later so that's my 10 grids so i'm gonna select your modify to terminate and then what i'm gonna do is you see this grid six here i'm going to align that to this uh face here so from the modify i'm gonna select align tool so i click this and then i'm gonna align that one and then after that at your uh, quick axis toolbar there is this align dimension so i'm gonna select align dimension and then after that i'm gonna click one to six one to six and then after that just click outside to place the dimension and then you'll be able to see here the eq sign here it will make these grids equal so that means equality so i'm going to click that so it's now equal right and then i'm gonna select and modify okay now i'm gonna create again another align dimension so i'm gonna click here that one that one then that grid and then i'll just place it here and then again if ever you escape and deselected the grids or selected modify you will notice the eq icon there will gonna be uh, disappeared so don't worry you just need to select the dimension and then the eq will appear again so just eq again there you go okay now i just use here the dimension as my guide to make the dimensions here or the grids equal but i really don't need that so that's why i'm just going to select the grid again and then i'm just going to delete that okay just select unconstrained here okay select and then delete just unconstrained there you go okay and then let's place our uh, horizontal grid here 
Alright, so after we create the vertical grids, so let us now create our horizontal grids. Okay, so to do that, let's select again the grid tool and then I'm going to start placing it here, that end point, and then I'm going to click here. And then I'm just going to make this A. There you go. And then I'll just click the dimension or the grid and then move there. So let's click now the grid grid A and then copy. Make sure multiple and constraint is checked. So we're going to copy this. Again, the placement of the grid is not critical for this one. You will also notice that after we change that to A, the other grids follow after we copy it. H I J. All right. There you go. And then I select here modify. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to align my grid C to this uh, face here of my building pad. So I go to the modify align tool. So let's select this line here and then place the C. And then after that, I'm going to select align dimension again. So I want A to C to be equal. Click and then EQ. There you go. And then modify. And then after that, uh, I want uh, H to be aligned to this side here. So I'm just going to click this uh, G and then I'll just drag it up. And then I use the align. I'm going to align H. There you go. And then let's proceed again on placing the align dimension. So let's place C, D, E, E, F, G, H. Okay. Then I'll place it here. EQ again. There you go. And then I'm going to align J to this line here. There you go. And then align dimension. H, I, J, place, and then EQ. There you have it. And then the next thing that I'm going to do, again, I don't need the dimension here. So I just select that, delete, just select unconstrained, select the uh, dimension, delete, unconstrained. And delete this one here, unconstrained. And there you go. Okay. Again, if you want to have your uh, grid bubble to be shown to the other side here, so just click that and then select here, show bubble. Or what you can do, if you don't want to pick it one by one, just click one of the grid, go to the type properties by clicking edit type. And then after that, just check here the plan view symbols and one or two if the two is unchecked. So just make sure they are both checked and then select your OK. There you go. Right? That's it. So that's how you place your grids. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.